finding midpoints. Now, if I want to find two midpoints, is that possible to find two midpoints? Why? Yeah, there's only one middle. A midpoint is a midpoint is a midpoint. It's going to be in the center. So we've got two points here. The midpoint's just going to be in between it, right? You can't have more than one. It's just going to be one. And why? Because they're going to be the same distance, equidistance from each end. Now, if I am on a number line, the easiest way to go and do this is to take whatever value A is, whatever value B is, add them up and divide by 2. That's it. No more, no less. On a number line, midpoint halfway between them, you take the two numbers, add them up, divide by 2. That's it. No more, no less. Like, okay, what's, what's halfway between say 0 and 10. Take 0, take 10, add them up. 10 divide by 2, 5. That's it. It doesn't matter. Any two numbers. What's halfway between uh, 6 and 12? What's 6 plus 12? What's 18 divided by 2? 9. 9 is halfway between 6 and 12. Why? Because you add 3 to 6, you get 9. You can take 9, add 3, you get it to 12. Okay. So now, midpoint on a coordinate plane. Because we're dealing with two different things, the x and the y, we end up doing the same thing for both x1 plus y or x1 plus x2 divided by 2 halfway in between so really all that you're doing is just you take the x coordinates add them up divide by 2 you take the y coordinates add them up divide it by 2 cut them in half that's it nothing more difficult than that okay so no not rocket science so I want to find the midpoint of this. Now, obviously, somebody is going to say, well, gee whiz, it's right there. Right? Well, what is A? A is 2. What is B? B is 6. Divide by 2. What's 2 plus 6? 8 over 2. What's 8 divided by 2? 4. It's exactly where it's going to be. Now, if I am looking at this one down here, I want to find out what's halfway in between. So if I were to go and count up, this takes me up one, two, three, four, right? This takes me over one, two, three, four. So if I go over two and up two, I would hit that, right? Is that the middle? Just by going and looking at it and moving things around, that's two. That's two. Okay, so that would turn out to be the coordinate looks like it's going to be three comma four. Now, what happens if I can't draw it out, can't see it? I just got the coordinates. Well, what are the x coordinates? One and five. So that means one plus five over two. Well, what's one plus five? What's 6 divided by 2? 3. What are my y's? 2 and 6. So it's 2 plus 6 divided by 2. Well, 2 plus 6 is going to be 8, right? 8 divided by 2 is? Isn't that just what we figured out over here? Yeah. Same thing. So there you go. It's not that difficult it's just knowing what you're looking at. Okay? So, if I need to fit, find the midpoints of the sides of this triangle, 
it's going to be a lot easier than trying to figure out all how far over it is because this is one, two, three, that's three. Can I accurately identify half of three on a graph like this? I can ballpark it, but I can't accurately come up with it. So that is why we need to make sure that we know how to use the coordinates. So, yeah. zero plus three divided by two. Okay, so that gives me what? What? Okay, because I'm looking at this line here. Okay, I got to take a look at each case individually, don't I? So this turns out to be 1.5 and if I do this and that, that's going to be 2 plus 7 over 2. Well, what's 2 plus 7? 9. What's 9 divided by 2? 4.5. So the first coordinate that I'm going to have, which is right here, which is going to be at 1.5 and 4.5, which you put it right about there, which is the middle. But I need to make sure that I identify 1.5 comma 4.5. If I don't do that, then I haven't done my job. So, do the next ones. So now we want to find the one that goes on this line right here. Okay. So, we take a look at the x. Well, the x is 0 and the x is 6. So that be 0 plus 6 divided by 2? 3. What about the y's? Well, the y is a 2 and a 1, so that's going to be 2 plus 1 over 2. Well, that just turns out to be 1.5, yes? So that means that at 3, 1.5, which is right there, this coordinate, that's what it is. That's all it is. Nothing more difficult than that. Let's try this. If I'm looking at this side over here. Okay. So now, what are the x coordinates? 3 and, so I got 3 plus 6 divided by 2. Well, 3 plus 6 is 9, right? What's 9 divided by 2? So I get 4.5. And we've got the y's, which are 7 plus 1 divided by 2. What's 7 plus 1? 8 divided by 2 is 4. She's just getting a little ahead of me. So that means that it's going to be 4 and a half and 4, so right here. So we'd mark that coordinate as 4.5 comma 4. Okay? Say what? N midpoint of the what? Did you read the instructions? Determine the midpoint of each side. How would I find the center of that triangle? Of that particular triangle? There are ways of doing it, but I'm not going to go there because I don't want to come and confuse you guys at all. So, continuing on. Navigation. It says, the fishing boat has dropped anchor equidistant from Cape Spirit and Endeavor Rock Lighthouse. On the segment joining the two locations, find the coordinate of the boat. Okay, so if it's equidistant, that means that it's in the middle of that, correct? Okay. So what are the coordinates of this point here? Okay, of Cape Spirit. What are the coordinates of Cape Spirit? Negative 3, comma what? 2. Okay. What about... Okay, so that's going to be 3, comma, negative what? Okay, so I've got my coordinates. I've identified that. So that means this is going to be negative 3 plus 3 over 2, right? So what's negative 3 plus 3? Divided by 2? 0. Now the other one is going to be at 2 plus negative 3. So what's 2 plus negative 3? What's negative 1 divided by 2? Zero. 
Negative one divided by two. Negative one divided by two. Yeah. So that means it's going to be at x is zero, and it's going to be sitting right about. Whoops, that's in the wrong spot, isn't it? I gotta go negative, so it's going to be sitting right there. So the coordinates right there are going to be zero, comma, negative point five. That's it. Okay, so I'm going to give you a minute. Actually, I'm going to give you 30 seconds. Actually, I'm not even going to give you 30 seconds. Let's see, we have 11. So, 7. 7 puts us at Caleb. What's the midpoint of AB? 2.5? You sure? Yeah, because that's 1, that's 4, add them together I get 5 divided by 2, so that's going to be 2.5, so that would end up being right there. Good. So, now I'll give you a minute and do this. What'd you get? You got what? Four comma four? Okay. So let's check. Five plus three divided by two. Well, five plus three is eight. Eight divided by two is four. I've got one plus seven divided by two. One plus seven again is eight. We get divide that by two, so four. So four over four, four comma four is the correct answer. So, do this one. Shh. Concentrate. Was a minute too long for you guys? Yeah. yeah. You guys are faster than that. So that puts us down to Hannah. What'd you get? Point five. Point five. Okay, let's try that again. Shh. Point five, comma two. So that means I'm going to take negative three plus four divide it by two. Well, that's one, one, right? Get the point five. Good. Is it better for us to use fractions or decimals to do this? Well, decimals can be fun, but sometimes fractions are more appropriate. But in this instance, it really doesn't matter. So we're not going to worry about it. But there are times, now, if this would have been divided by a three, we would want to keep it in the form of a fraction. 
because we don't want to have repeating. Yeah, so it just be like that. So over here, I've got a 2 plus a 2 divided by a 2. Well, that's a 2. So 0.5 comma 2. Good. So I'll give you a minute for these. have to try to be annoying. <laughs> so now you're calling me annoying. Really? I would have never thought that. So are we ready now? You are. Okay. So we're going to start off here with uh, who? Mason. What is what is the midpoint of JK? Negative 1, comma, 1.5. So if I graph this, I get negative 1, which is here. 1.5 puts it right there. I'd say that's accurate. Okay? So, let's see. Go to Jacob. What do you have for the side KL? Two comma one. I'm assuming you gave me in the correct order, right? So if I go over two and up one, it hits the line, I get a point. Looks good. So now the other one I have is JL. So I got segment JL, and we've got. Yep, 
Natalia. Zero, comma, negative one. So if I go over zero, negative one puts me right there. I missed. Well, let's let's check. It looks like we might have the y part right. Well, if we take negative three and positive three, oops, hold a sec. Negative three plus three over two. Well, that gives me zero over two, which gives me the zero, which is great. I got zero plus negative one over two. So that gives me one over two, which is going to be the same as 0.5, which would be negative. So be careful about that. Halfway in between, so that hits that. Okay. So I am going to give you, I'll give you a bottom give you two minutes on this one then since it took you a little longer okay there you go take that long to add a couple of numbers and divide. Okay. So here we go. Uh, we already picked on two, picked on nine, eleven. Oh. So I've got some points here and in order for us to make life a lot easier for ourselves, it's always a good idea to go through and label them. So I'm going to call this one A, I'm going to call that one B, and I'm going to call that one C. Now I would rec now it doesn't matter what you call them, but I would recommend going through and doing it. That way when you go and want to identify what is the midpoint of A, B, and what did you get for that by chance, Hope? 0.5 comma what? Okay, so if I go over 0 0.5, I go up 4. Does that look right? Does that look like it's going to hit it? So if I do this, if I draw a line from here over to there, looks like it's on my line, right? Now, just for the sake of argument, this is at negative 3, comma, 5. This one over here is at 4, comma, 3. So if I go and take 4 and negative 3, I get 1. 1 divided by 2, 0. 0.5. Good. 3 and 5. 3 plus 5 is 8. 8 divided by 2 is 4. Good. 
So we got that. So let's see. We got 10. Kevin. So now, tell me what is the midpoint of BC? Okay, well, the point that was here and the point that was there, what's the midpoint on that? take a look see at that you probably would notice that yeah it should be up over in here so having them both positive would make sense for us so at 2 and 0.5 puts it right about there so if I grab a line and I go from here to there does it match up yes so we got it good now again it would be a good idea for those of you talking to make sure that you go and identify your coordinates. So this one here would be 0, comma, negative 2. So let's see what we got now. Uh, let's see, we already picked on Hope. We got 5, which puts us at Colton. So I want to know what it is between A and C now. So what's the other midpoint? Well, what's halfway between 0 and negative 3? Negative 1.5. And what's halfway between negative 2 and 5? Negative 2 plus 5 is 3, yes. But i got to divide by 2, so it's going to be what? Negative 2 and 5, you said, was 3, which is correct, but we still have to divide by 2. Positive 1.5. See, it always helps if you write it down and show your work. So, negative 1.5, 1.5 should put it right about here. So, let's draw a line and see if it actually is the case. So, from here up to there, good. Looks like we intersect it nicely. Okay? So, that's that. You have the remainder of the time to get to work.